and it's it's the 515. I know uh, the 515 concept is old as dirt. Uh, but it's one of those things that we've got to remind ourselves. 515 says on the 15th of the month, we're going to think of five unique marketing opportunities, retention opportunities for the next month. That gives us two solid weeks to plan and prepare. So let me share my screen. So this is the, the 515 for August. <clears throat> I'm going to start with number one. I've talked about this several times. But in summertime, it's unique that our um, attrition increases in the summertime. So then all of a sudden we get back to September. September's a really good month because we sign up a lot of students. But the thing is, if we lose people in August, it's going to take us a long time to grow in the fall. So if you make it through summertime and you lose 10%, 12%, and then all of a sudden the end of September, you're back even again. Well, that really doesn't kick in till October because October is when you start collecting on those people. And then all of a sudden we hit to November and December slump. And so it could set us back a long time if we really don't concentrate on summer. So I'm going to go over this real fast because we've uh, done this several times. Just make sure your attendance and your vacation recovery is in full force. So you know exactly when everyone's supposed to be back from vacation. You make sure you call them, send them a note, ask them how vacation was. Uh, this is a tough thing because it just seems really easy. But when the kids got back from vacation, they just had a ton of fun. All of a sudden, uh, comparing a ton of fun to going back and doing push-ups and sit-ups might kind of not equate. So they still want to do the fun thing. So it takes a lot of work to make sure not only do we contact the students, but we talk to them, we get them motivated or re-motivated about the martial arts. You have to have things in place so it's comfortable to get back into school. Because they probably forgot a little. Of course, they lost a little motivation. So have a recovery system. One recovery system is HIT classes. HIT classes are just high-intensity training. So if you have 15 kids coming back for vacation, you may not have time in your day to do individual classes. But you have time to do one HIT class. A HIT class could be 45 minutes, high-intensity training. Kids are coming back in. You're resetting goals. You're getting them comfortable with what they missed when they were out. So it's a really, really comfortable way to come back. At the same time, we're getting towards the end of summer. Some of you guys, like in Arizona, kids are going back to school in two weeks. Florida, they're going back in four weeks. So we still have to think about what's going to keep them active in the summertime. They've got four weeks. What do we want to do to step up to make sure classes have that fun factor? I know these are kind of seem silly things or simple things. But having those consistent days where, okay, next week is crazy here. you got to color your hair. Wear your hair kind of funky. It's crazy here. Kids just like to do that. Again, that's the fun factor. If it's, okay, we're going to train in our socks next week, and I want crazy socks. If kids are going to wear crazy socks. They're going to show it off, and they just have fun with each other. I really like when we do candy competition. Candy competition would be like an interschool event where they're having some friendly competition, and the winners get a – um, metal around their neck but the metal you make themselves you just get some ribbon and you put a piece of candy on it and they get a, a piece of candy around their neck that's just a fun thing so now they're doing class and you award them for their medal and of course they get to eat the medal on the way home um, wearing a certain color okay this is a red white and blue day or it's a green and yellow day whatever you're going to do you have to come in that color if you're going to spend some time, uh, maybe uh, during your parents' night out or uh, a special class next week with a tie-dye t-shirt, that's fun. I remember talking to Johnny Med uh, last year about this one because a lot of you do ice cream days. So when the kids come in after class, they have ice cream. Well, it's reminded of Johnny because up the street from me, there's a daycare center. And outside the daycare center last week was an ice cream truck. And you see all the, the teachers coming out with the kids, standing in front of the ice cream truck. Of course, they get to pick out the ice cream. They don't have to pay for it. The daycare paid for it. But it's really fun for the kids. When Johnny did it, he's in a pretty busy shopping center. So he had the ice cream truck right out of his school. A lot of people came that weren't students. So they actually bought their ice cream. But when they got their uh, ice cream, they also got a certificate for free classes at his school. So he was using the ice cream truck to drive people to the front of his school. He would talk to them, give them uh, certificates for classes. So 
again, number one, it's August. It's all about retention. We've got to keep what we have by creating extra fun and recovery. Uh, next thing is August is our invitational months. Invitational months are between graduations. So we had a graduation at the very end of June. We had excitement throughout July. August, nothing's really happening special that's just going to excite the kids besides your awesome rocking classes, of course. But there's not a special event they're preparing for. So August is invitational. This is when we uh, take all the students that aren't in our upgrade program or maybe not in one of our add-on programs. Add-on program could be hyper, it could be a Kali, it could be a special uh, weapons class. It's something that they're going to do, add it onto your program, and it's basically like they're just choosing their own experience. So we got this picture of hyper. If hyper is your program, you're going to call students that aren't in hyper and invite them in from the master instructor to try out a hyper class and see how they enjoy it. Uh, your goal is to get anywhere from 10 to 20 people in that class. So you're going to just keep calling and making invitations. Again, uh, the reason I'm calling you is I'm watching a class. Uh, you've had great attendance. I think it's time to reset your goals and challenge yourself. I would really love to have you come in and try hyper class this week. And we have a special class and individually choosing certain students. I'd love to have you there. Well, some people say yes, some people say no, but if you can get between 10 and 20 people, now you have 10 or 20 possibilities for upgrades. Um, so again, I either like to call these or have my front end office person say, uh, the reason I'm calling you is Master Civil will want to invite you into this class so they can just speak for you. But this is a possibility. You don't have graduation, so you're not doing testing fees. You don't have a tournament, so you're not doing a tournament. So this is a great day to add, or not a great day, but a great month to add in paid in fulls for your leadership program and paid in fulls for add-ons. If your add-ons are like, if you do hyper, hyper is $55 a month. It's $600 to prepay for a year. Most people are going to choose to prepay and just put it on their credit card. You get 10 students to do that, that's $6,000 in income. That's why this is so important. Again, you don't have testing fees, so what can you do in August to add on? And of course, everyone wants to do some type of upgrades. Sometimes they need just a little push or an invitation. They come in and you just do a great class. Everyone sees uh, what Hyper is all about. I'm using Hyper because of the picture, but again, you have all those uh, opportunities. Then in the class, tell parents, the reason I invited you here is because I think and I believe in your child, they should be doing this program. Uh, the cost of the program for one class a week is $55. We have a paid in full special, $600 for the entire year. And uh, after this class, I like to provide them with their t-shirt and everything. So if you enroll today, they'll get their t-shirt and their shorts or whatever you want to add on is uh, for the reason that they should do it right then and there. So 10 students on this, $6,000. I'm thinking really on the low side, so that's a great opportunity for August. Next thing is breaking board month. This comes from Tom Baker. He does this every year during August. Um, if you're not into doing the invitationals, this could be your way for extra income. Board breaking month is kids just love to break boards. Um, they have fun doing it, it's challenging, uh, but you're not going to just do it once. They're going to do it in every class throughout August. So you're going to need a lot of boards. So kids can buy up to 50 boards. You can get them uh, from uh, several different uh, supply companies. You make sure you get boards that are age appropriate, so real thin ones for your little dragons, a little more hardy for your older kids. Uh, they're going to pre-buy buy the boards, so they're going to need 50 for class. Um, so if you don't think you have time because, you know, we're getting started late on this, you can always start at the second week of August. So that would give you three weeks. This will be three weeks of marketing. Kids who can't afford boards or parents that don't want to buy boards, that's okay. Your child can still come. He's just going to be using rebreakable boards because uh, so we don't have extra cost. Um, the whole idea now is to announce this and come up with a schedule. This is the board breaking we're going to be doing week one. This is what we're going to be doing week three. So you have a schedule every single class. Again, we're looking for retention. August is a, is a hot month. You know, kids are going to be distracted. They're going to want to do other things. But they're going to make time because the board breaking is the fun factor. I was looking over notes for this presentation. So I went back to notes I read last year. And uh, 
Tom Baker had grossed $15,000 selling boards last August. So um, there's quite a bit of profit when you gross $15,000. You may not double your money on the boards, but there's still two or $3,000 uh, profit there for Mr. Baker. I had mentioned at the beginning of this before I started hitting a record about partners in education. Uh, I talked about this last week a little in a couple of the groups. Uh, Steve Del Castile got busy on this right away. Um, he used a different logo for his partners in education, but those are easy to get. And he created a letter going out to uh, the school teachers, uh, the principals, and people who are influential in the PTO, PTA. Um, he told them that he wanted to be a partner of education. If Mr. Uh, Del Casil doesn't mind, I'll share that for you. So uh, I'm sure he'll be willing to share that. He's shaking his head yes. So if you want a copy of that letter, just email me at greg at gregsilva.com and I will send you that letter. But there's a couple of things you can do. One is a fundraiser. Mr. Del Castile, what they were looking for in his school is they want to put a shade over the, the playground for the kids and they need money to come up for that sunshade. So they, of course, at first just said, okay, we just want you to be a sponsor and just send us money. That's okay, we can send you some money, but at the same time, we don't have a lot of funds, but we're willing to work to raise money for you. So what we're willing to do is we're going to put together a six-week program. Six-week program is classes for the, the kids in that age group from your school. We can give you flyers. So now you're going to hand out the flyers. That's marketing, martial arts for kids. Uh, not only is martial arts good for self-defense, but of course, it's good for kids learning respect, courtesy for their teachers, and things like that. Um, once students uh, sign up, for the uh, six-week program, we're going to give 50% back to the PTO. So although we can't just give you money, we're willing to work for this money and uh, you know, help kids at the same time. If we get 20 kids to do this, that'd be $1,000 we're going to send for the PTO. And uh, we're ready to go. Uh, we'll have the flyers. You can hand out the flyers. We'll do all the work for you. Next thing is meet the teachers. I was um, talking to Zach Siokas um, a couple days ago. He's got 19 elementary schools in his town, and he's already made uh, arrangements to be at all 19 elementary schools to meet the teachers. And what he's going to do is, uh, Brandon Belizo does this too. He's got a cotton candy machine at his booth. Kids are coming over to meet the teachers with the parents. Parents go over. They want to get can cotton candy for the kids. And then he's giving flyers out for both his after-school program and his uh, uh, martial arts program. So it's a really, really great way to get out there and uh, meet all the students and meet all the parents. Volunteer to help at school. I remember when I first went to Coral Springs, I did this. I was actually helping direct traffic and everything for the first days of school. That's okay. It's just helping the school, getting my name out there so they know I'm a real partner in education. I'm not just looking to get students into my school, but I'm really there to help the school. And you can wear your martial arts t-shirt and things like that. So make sure you get out there and have someone connect with all the uh, schools and say you're willing to volunteer. So again, this is partners in education. One of the things too that Mr. Del Castile uh, already implemented that we talked about is partners in education often gift students who do good in school and get an honor roll with some type of award. So we can give the kids uh, a certificate, congratulate them on honor roll so they're a uh, B or A level honor roll student because they made that level they get a free month of martial arts at your school So now you're helping with the school again. You're doing the work. You're not just giving them money But you're getting your name out there in front of the students uh, all the time because all the kids that get of course the honor roll then get this certificate presented them in school uh, congratulating them on their efforts and rewarding them with a, a free um, month of classes at your school also, find out when teachers are uh, having their planning days. This usually happens anywhere from 10 days, two weeks uh, before school starts. Uh, teachers are getting in, organizing their classrooms, working on their class plans. So if you can get in there and buy them breakfast, it could just be bagels, whatever you want to do, provide breakfast for them. Well, you're really looking to just hang around the school. Uh, parents are they I'm sorry not the parents but the teachers gonna come in they're gonna go, hey thanks for breakfast you go, yeah my name is Greg Silva I just like to introduce myself I've got this martial arts school we do all these events uh, to help uh, kids in school teaching them about respect and courtesy 
have flyers about your information. But for just buying a breakfast, you're getting to meet uh, all the teachers. That's just a great thing. So all of these things you should be doing before school starts. So look at your calendar. Um, if you don't know who to contact, every uh, school has a website. Get on the school's website. I'll look up the, the PTO. The PTO will tell you exactly what you're doing fundraisers for. They'll have the people's names. They'll have the uh, email addresses. You'll have the um, principal, his email address. So this is the way you can make contact. Now, uh, William Pierce has been doing really, really great with Rainmaker. He's already done three videos for back to school. He's doing his fourth one this Thursday. So I'm not going to talk about doing things online or electronically through Rainmaker. He's doing a fantastic job with that. But these are things that you can do offline for online resorts. And I hit on a couple of these things last week. Number one is making sure you have a banner in your school. I know this seems really simple, but a banner just saying now enrolling new students, now enrolling back to school students. Again, parents kind of think that, you know, kids should be in an activity. They want them to go to school, but they want to have some type of exercise or fitness after school. So make sure you have that simple banner in front of your school or, or a window claim. EDDM, uh, that's for every door direct mail. If you want to target certain communities with a giant postcard, I mean, when you pick up your mail, you see these all the time. It could be like an eight and a half by 12 inch card. That's a good visual. It's got a lot of information. Um, uh, Dragon Karate up in Long Island just ordered 10,000 of these for his back to school. It was, it was just similar to this. It's time to go back to school. Does your child have everything they need? Uh, these are available on Get Students. With every door direct mail, you're just going to the post office. And when you go to the post office, they're going to have the different mail routes. You're going to choose the mail routes you want to target. So say mail route goes to a certain community, and that's uh, mail route 197. So what you're going to do, in route 197 may have 200 households. You're going to uh, count out 200 cards. You bring those cards to the post office. You're going to tie a, a string around them, tie it in a knot, and say this is for route 197, 200 cards. They're going to charge you 18 cents per card, so you give them a check for $36. Everyone in that uh, mailing address is going to get the EDM cards. So, again, it's all about branding. Your online results is really good, but sometimes we want to send people to this website. So with Birds Martial Arts, he did this a couple years ago. He's got his website on there. So people may come in and say, hey, I saw your website, but the reason they got your website is they saw something that directed to the website. Um, Birds Martial Arts, I love that he's got his name on his website. Uh, if I saw this, I would just make sure that we see his logo because it's a chance for branding. People have to see your logo and your colors all the time. Rack cards, uh, everyone knows what rack cards are. Um, hopefully you have them in 100 locations. Now it's time to change them out. You probably have your summer program for six weeks. Well, let's remind people for back to school. Parents just kind of know that back to school. Okay, what's happening after school or back to school? So get those out. One of the biggest events that schools see throughout the year besides the Halloween party is the back to school buddy bash. Because now kids are going to their school. We're having a party at our school. This is a party. It's not a martial arts event. It's just an event. It could be an indoor uh, carnival games. You could have a magician there. You could just have water slides or bounce houses. It's a fun event just to celebrate back to school. When I was in Mesa, I didn't advertise it as the East West Karate Back to School Party. I put it from a Mesa school children back to school. So when I advertised it, it sounded like this was for the entire community. It just happened to be held at my school. Well, back to school buddy bashes, your students do all the work. You give them 30 invitations. Uh, when they go back to school and they meet a couple friends, they're going to invite everyone in their class to the back to school buddy bash. Yeah, it's like one of those no-brainers. Um, I just noticed that Zach Silkis, he just uh, ordered this stuff from uh, uh, Get Students. He is really, really big in back to school. And the reason I like that, he understands that back to school is a short window of opportunity. We have like two weeks before school, one week after school, when people are really planning to enroll their kids into something. It's either martial arts, it could be gymnastics, it could be parkour, 
they're going to be doing something. So he wants to make sure they go to his martial arts school. So last uh, night he ordered 20,000 rack cards, 10,000 uh, uh, jumbo EDDM cards. He ordered uh, 10,000 uh, cards for show your teacher respect. He uses these when he goes to the elementary schools. And he has scheduled 19 elementary orientations. So he's already thinking big. I'm not just going to do a little marketing, but I'm going to do massive marketing. So even if he has $1,000 worth of material there, you start thinking the lifetime value of one student could be $2,500. So that's what they're going to pay not only for the beginning program, for their upgrade program. If I know that for every one person I get in, I get $2,500, and maybe that $10,000 or the $1,000 he's spending is going to get him 10 students. So I spend $1,000 and I have revenue over the next couple of years of $25,000. So that's the way he thinks. A couple weeks ago, I sent out a couple videos, one was some Tony Robbins, and my message to everyone who's with Rainmaker is to change your shoulds to must. So I should be doing this today, it should be changed to I must, because it's going to make it a higher priority. Uh, it was really funny, I went to church yesterday, and I had my uh, um, step-grandson with us. And the, the pastor was just talking about priorities. And he was saying that when he was a kid, um, when he got to be a teenager, he said, I just hated to go to church. I thought church was boring. I didn't want to go. This, this, and, that. and he went on for a long time. And so he says, my mom came in. I go, hey, mom, I'm not going to go to church today. She goes, oh, you're not. He says, no, I decided I'm not going to do it. So he says, the door closed, and all of a sudden the door opened again. Boom! He says, this time it's his dad. His dad goes, what did you say? Because says, this is my house. These are my rules. You're eating my food. You're riding in my car. Get in the car. You're going to church. He says, you don't have a choice. It's a priority. Sorry about that. So this was this kind of message, and I really liked it. You know, I may not have time or support, but just I try saying it's not a priority. So you may be – oh, let me close my door. So you may be saying, I don't have time to do all this marketing for new students. Try saying, it's not a priority that I get new students. <laughs> Try saying that for your, how you're going to pay your bills. So I don't have time to go to new students. No, it's not a priority for me to get new students. Make it a priority. You'll get this stuff done. Again, I'm just going to give a shout out. I want to kind of um, blow up his head too much. But Del Steel is just on fire with getting stuff done. He's putting in a lot of hours. Uh, I think it was last Friday, I saw him in front of his school six or in the morning. I know one day he worked real late. Not that I think everyone should just work all the time, but I know he balances things out. In fact, he took like a week and a half off a couple weeks ago, so he's got a little extra time. But it's really important to get stuff done. I mean, I just got to hammer it. Uh, follow what William Pierce is saying to do online and through his automated marketing. Balance this out with being out in the public and doing grassroots marketing. And you're not only going to have a successful August, you're going to have a successful last quarter of the year. Uh, do we have any questions, comments? Fire it up. Great meeting, sir. Yes, sir. I, I have a comment about every door direct mail. Yes. Um, I was uh, I was on the website Every Door Direct Mail, and I guess it's uh, it's an all inclusive. They uh, they do all the uh, flyering and and all that stuff. And I'm wondering if that's the better way to go, or what you just talked about, where I print out flyers, go to the post office, and then and then have it sent to a specific zip code. Yeah, it's like when we do get students. We make sure that um, you can't just do a flyer, but it has to have a, a direct uh, EDDM stamp in it. So the post office has that type of stamp. So that's got to be printed on it. And yeah, that website is just people who are using um, that name as a Google search word. So it comes up faster. So you can do it like that. Or uh, what uh, Zach did is he keeps everything uniform. So he gets them from get students. I mean, th that's totally your choice. Um, I just know that the quality is really up there. 
it's really easy to do because you can go on to your local post office. Your local post office will give you all the postal routes. You decide which postal route you have. Some have 50 stops, some have 250 stops. So you just say, say uh, from my demographics and who I think is my ideal student. Now I think my ideal student comes from professional people that don't have time to give all these skills to their kids, but they have the money. So I'm gonna target houses where the income is from 100 to $100,000 and up. So it's okay, I know this area has that. This area here is gated communities. I can get in there flyers, so I have to do every door direct mail. Pick out the ones you want. Again, you just have to make sure they're in stacks of numbers. So if, if there's 142 people that are in the mail group, you've got to do 142, count them out. Put an elastic to hold them together. You put a stick around there, say this is for a, a root number. Put the root number on there. And then they're gonna just give you the total of how many are going out. And I believe it's 18 cents a piece, multiply by 18 cents. You'll just charge that. Um, you can also request when you want them delivered. So if you want them delivered at the end of the week or the beginning of the week. I like at the beginning of the week because some people call me, some people got on my website, but I have more time to service them. I remember one time I did it in uh, Florida and it was the first time when I just opened my school in Boca Raton. I had them delivered at the end of the week. Uh, my daughter called me on a Saturday. I said, I just got the, um, the EDM, it looks really good. And I got very poor results. Well, you can get very poor results when you first start. It's gotta be one of those things, it'd be consistency. But I think a lot of my poor results was people got them on Friday and Saturday and they put them aside because they're doing other things. And so I recommend from past experience that you try to get them out delivered at the beginning of the week. And then how often should you have it at each home? Like once a month? Now I would go once a month and budget at least five times. Okay. It's just like anything else. Just because you get a card doesn't mean you're going to sign up. Uh, the person has to have interest in martial arts. So they may not have interest this month, but you educate them on something. They may not have interest next month to educate them on something. The next month they get something on bully proofing and with an offer and all of a sudden go, hey, my child's getting bullied in school and now's the time. So I think repetition is very, very important. And then do you, uh, do you have it front and back or just the front? Front and back. Okay, so I have, uh, I have Aqua Tots, which is a swim school at, uh, that my son started going, and they do every door direct mail. And I suggested that uh, I take the front or the back, and they, they take the front or the back, and we split the costs. Okay. The, the front is the side with the stamp. So when the people get it in their mail, it's stamped side up. Right. A lot of people think the stamp side is going to – but when they deliver it, the mailman has to put stamp side up. I'd rather be in the front, but either one's good, but I, I just thought that's curious information, so. Yeah. You, you can go to usps.com and sign up and look for the EDDM section, and you can actually see the maps and everything. You, you uh, for example, uh, my zip code, you type in the zip code, the area you want to go to, and it brings up a map, and it brings in all the sub routes on that map. So, for example, I have Route 1 through 16, and Route 1 will be down in Zone 3 where I don't want to go, and Route number 5 will be all condos, I don't want to go there, and Route 10 will be um, the perfect area, and I want to go there. And each area has is divided up into um, a count. So there'll be 247 in Route 5, 310 in Route 6, and that's, that, that's what you got to have. And, that, and now they require you to have in bundles of 50 or 100 with a little tag on each bundle. So it's a little bit of work, but, it, um, but it's, it's really a good deal, especially if you hit it at the right time. I used to do them all the time, but um, it started to fade a little bit, so I started doing a little bit less. But anyway, it's, um, it's, like you said, it's 18 cents a piece, but you get your cards from uh, Get Students, and you... Um, you carry them over to the post office in bundles of 50 or 100, and you can assign them to the specific routes. And you can even pay online through the post office system. Huh. So you've got to sign up and make an account, and then um, you go from there, and you can just carry them over there and just say, here you are, and then they'll, next thing you know, they're out. Excellent. Thanks for that information, sir. Yeah.
Okay, everyone, I did make a recording of this, so if you didn't get a chance to take notes um, or you want to share this with your team, I'm going to post it on the uh, Rainmaker Business Solution site um, in the next 20 minutes. So be there by 1 o'clock. Thank you, sir. Have a great day. Thank you. Thank you, sir.